Here's how you can add custom props to Wardo like these chickens. First, install the downloads linked in the description below. I won't go into details on this, but if you're completely new, the steps are here for you, so just pause them where you need to. First, drag and drop your model files into the asset area. Select the model files and choose the materials tab. Extract the materials and select folder. Click on your new material and choose a shader. I chose unlit texture. You may also need unlit transparent for some models with transparency. Click and drag your texture over to the texture square to assign it. Now repeat this step for the rest of your model materials and textures if needed. Click and drag your model from the assets to the hierarchy. Now your model will appear in the scene. Right click the asset in the hierarchy and choose prefab unpack. Make sure the asset is selected, then choose add a component, add sphere collider or another shape that fits your model roughly. Adjust the shape of your collider. You can click and drag to scale here. If you need to adjust the scene, you can, but make sure to reselect the asset in the hierarchy when you're done. Select Wardo from the drop downs at the top of the screen and choose New Mod. Name the file what you want and then create mod. Click and drag your asset from the hierarchy down to the new asset folder you just created. Rename this prefab to Prop. It must be this exact name to work. Now go to Warado and select Build Mod. This will now give you a .warado file of your prop name in the Warado SDK folder you downloaded from the beginning of this tutorial. Open Warado, click the plus symbol at the bottom and choose Prop. Click Open Props folder. You can now find the Warado SDK folder from your PC and find the named prop.warado file. Click and drag it into the prop folder. Congrats, you now have a custom prop added to Warado. Now I'll show you a quick way to test. Select the blueprint symbol on the upper left and click the plus at the bottom. Search for the on keystroke press node on the right. Sometimes these nodes like to hide. Just use your scroll wheel to zoom out and your left mouse button to pan around and find it. Now search for the throw prop at character node. You can move the nodes around by clicking and dragging them from the top. Click and drag the exit of the keystroke node to the enter of the throwing node. Now select the keystroke you want to test with, select your prop source, and target it to your character. You can now return to your character scene and test a throw with your new keystroke. Now enjoy your custom prop! If this helped you, give a like and follow for more tips, and let me know if there are any other tutorials you'd like to see me cover.